The next Motsari Shabbos, we begin Slichos, and just to remind us of one of the interesting laws of Slichos, and that is that we say a minimum of four days of Slichos before Rosh Hashanah. And when Rosh Hashanah comes out in such a way that we don't have the four days, we start the Slichos instead of the Saturday night before, but the week before that, to give us a minimum of four days. The reason for that is many are given, just to remind us of two of them, and that is that when the Karbanos are described in the Torah, for all of the Karbanos it says, Vahikraft Hem, you should bring. When it comes to the Korban of Rosh Hashanah, it says, Vahasisem, you should make, you should do. And it's understood to mean that it's not just the bringing of it, but Vahasisem, but it is to make as if to say you should make yourself the korban. Now a korban, the sacrifice before being offered, had to have bikur, had to have examination for four days to make sure there was no mum, no defect in it. And therefore before us offering ourselves as this offering on Rosh Hashanah, we have to have a minimum of four days in which to examine, that is to prepare ourselves before Rosh Hashanah. Another reason that is given for this is, is that when it comes to the days of Slichos, there are those who have the custom of fasting for 10 days for the Aseris Yumei Tshuva. But there are always going to be four days that you can't fast. The four days are Shabbos. Not so in Gedalia, the opposite. Rosh Hashanah and uh, Erev Yom Kippur. Erev Yom Kippur, it's a mitzvah to eat, so there are four days on which we specifically eat, not fast. And therefore, to make up four days of fasting, we have uh, four days of the slichos beforehand. So the two concepts behind this are, is we have to prepare ourselves for Rosh Hashanah. You can't just come in, show up as it were in court, without getting your pleas in order speaking to your attorney, making sure that you are prepared, that you dress properly, that you've acted properly, that you've done the things beforehand to come in the proper way. And may we all be able to do that during the time before Rosh Hashanah.